All right, draft physics video. Um, yeah, I'll just get to it. <laughs> I'm going to make some other comments, but forget about it. Uh, other subjects and other things, but anyway. Um, so the John fucking Wayne cowboy guy, whatever, he's left a couple of links on, on you know, to another just useless video. So, um, you know, making an argument that just doesn't have any relevance to with the argument with this music in the background. It's just a cartoon argument. So I make the point that in photons, the pattern doesn't look like this. It doesn't do the gradation, even though this isn't really a perfect gradation either. This isn't mathematically, this isn't what the math says it should look like. Um, you know, and that's just the truth. The, the math is essentially implies a perfect gradation between light and dark. And this isn't that. Um, but even if this, and this, but this is far better than any slit you'll see with photons. And the reason why it's in gray is because this is an electron. This isn't in monochromatic light. You know, white light isn't monochromatic, obviously. Um, and so he compares it to a drawing. Um, and so this is just the same shit over and over again. And I mean, I haven't. I was so explicit in my in in the argument I've made that this pattern, okay, is this reoccurring on-off kind of thing. And I've pointed out how it's the simplest pattern in the universe. You really can't come up with a simpler thing and call it a pattern. And it arises in these different circumstances. So it arises with photons, and then they can make it arise with electrons, and they can make it arise with radio waves of different kinds. And I've pointed out how the mechanism like in, in radio waves there's no slits you don't need slits in a microwave experiment you could use slits but you don't need to use slits to have it happen with the microwaves so need no need to do a double slit experiment you just have two emitters so there the waves aren't passing through any mechanism <laughs> you know there's no there's no single wave going through and hitting two mechanisms and all that nonsense to create the two waves um, <clears throat> so it, it has obvious differences and yet, they're all different because there's a different thing happening. Now, I'd argue in the radio waves, it's all just about the fact that we don't detect radio waves with our eyes. We don't see radio waves reflected off of a surface and then measure it with our eyes. We're measuring it with a device that's tuned to a specific frequency, so clearly the frequencies can cancel each other out. They can jam each other. So I've explained that. Now, the difference between photons and electrons is well, as, as my theory points out, it's electrons that the stuff is interfering with. So clearly, it's going to interfere with a f an electron is going to interfere with a photon in a much more dramatic way than it's going to interfere with another electron. So, and that would be my argument why the patterns are different. So, I mean, but clearly I've made the argument that it's the photon light, the visible photons experiments, the ones in monochromatic light, that are the ones that are not meeting the mathematical obligation. And this isn't a photon experiment. Now, second, he calls this a double slit experiment, and clearly this isn't the double slit pattern. The double slit pattern has the envelope of two patterns. And that's the truth. And yet he ignores that. I mean, there's just, you know, you, you make the argument explicit, and then he, again, just straw mans an argument you haven't been making that's nowhere in sight, and then no doubt Hoffa they thumb this crap up because he has no integrity. If he had some integrity, he'd point out how these are really bogus arguments and have nothing to do with the subjects that's being debated. But instead, he just endorses this nonsense and lets it go on because all of you people are cheaters and liars. So you're just pointing out, again, you're just validating my argument that clearly there's a huge bias involved here where you have to resort to overt propaganda, I mean just overt lies and deceptions, just complete perversions of what has been said, complete perversions of what the argument is about. Again, show me the double slit experiment with photons, or the single slit experiment with photons, okay, that creates the pattern the mass indicates, in the sense that it should be uh, an even gradation between light and dark. Um, no, it doesn't exist. And I've provided other evidence that indicates that what the pattern is really is, is a copy of the opening. It's a copy of the whatever the obstruction is, or 
whether you have, I mean, technically in the two slit experiment, you can really just have the single impediment experiment and get the, a similar bar pattern. Um, and so show that pattern and show it as the math would say it should be. And as I've pointed out, like I said, it's, it's clear, I've made a clear argument that there's reason to believe that these bars are just copies of the opening or copies of the obstruction, either way you want to look at it. Um, and they're, they're just uh, photons, a bunch of photons go one place, they go to another place, go to another place, um, because they're, the, the angle's different, because they hit more electrons. I've provided a clearly plausible explanation that doesn't involve many worlds and it doesn't involve photons going through two slits or photons communicating with each other or interfering with each other. No need to worry about a single photon experiment because my theory explains why single photons do what many photons do because the photons don't interfere with each other. They interact with electrons. So anyway, so, so this is just such a horrible argument. It's just so dishonest. And okay, it's got four thumbs up and zero thumbs down, you know. So half of they certainly couldn't say, "Oh, oh yeah, that's a horrible argument. I'll thumb that one down." Couldn't even do that, you know. The minimum can't exercise a minimum bit of honesty here anywhere. And, and so again, it just proves my point that this is what I'm really fighting against is a bunch of religious kooks who are just devoted and they can't even understand the argument. Again, he titled this double slit when it's not a double slit pattern. Uh, the argument's about photons, and he shows that the image of an electron pattern, and I don't need, and we have no evidence that it's an actual pattern. It looks almost a little bit too good, actually. So I don't even think it's an actual pattern. It's a simulation of a pattern. So he he doesn't even have the integrity to show what his pattern is from. So somebody could analyze it and say, oh, right there it says a simulation. It's so dishonest. And then people like the, this Maculi, whatever, Mayul CS guy, who's just been so dishonest from the very beginning, uh, defending Puro's fake evidence and the rest of it. And he, he puts a comment on here, so I'll read his comment. Prepare for an hour-long rant of... In See, this is another thing. Somebody can say something so dishonest in a second. Yes, you can lie in a second. And yes, it always takes longer to explain why that lie is a lie. And that's always the obligation. And this is the method of the troll. Just make the accusation so somebody has to explain the whole story. They have to explain what the truth is made out of and the facts that the truth is made out of and why your falsehood is a falsehood. You can't prove something wrong without providing evidence. So, you know, you, it's so easy to say you murdered your wife. And then force somebody to say, no, I couldn't possibly because, well, first, my wife is alive. And second, you know, I wasn't there and there was no, I wasn't in the room. And, you know, Colonel Mustard uh, obviously had a knife. And, you know, I mean, you know, but it's just, they're so dishonest. All right, anyway. Insane scribbling. So, again, drawing the pattern and pointing out an explanation of a mechanical explanation. This is somehow just insane. So every time we see anybody, anytime you see a physicist lecturer at a blackboard drawing pictures, he's insane. <laughs> Just, and repetitive bullshit. Well, apparently you have to be repetitive because people do this nonsense. I make a simple point. Hey, there's a couple of flaws in this whole paradigm we've been sold about what this slit experiment is. First, they didn't do certain experiments. They claim they did do. They claim patterns are a certain way, and, you know, the truth is the pattern's never that way. And they provide these fake pieces of evidence, these simulations as a fact. You know, experiments that have never been done. Again, this is just so amazing. I have to keep coming back to it only because you keep arguing as if I haven't answered the question when I have completely and thoroughly made the point. I mean, you're just so dishonest. You're so fucking dishonest. Lying, suck, pieces of crap. You just shouldn't be allowed to be this dishonest. But the fact that you are allowed to be this dishonest, that you get away with it, is the fucking evidence of why I am right. That you are all just propagandists. You're, you don't give a fuck about truth. You don't give a fuck about honesty. You don't give a fuck about the facts. You just give a fuck about promoting your dogma. And that's all they're doing here is you're proving the fucking argument in your behavior. Your dishonesty is proof 
of the fact that you don't have the evidence and that you don't have a rational argument. All right. Uh, completely deny such basic, fundamental, simple, and totally fucking easy to understand concept. So what is to easy to understand here? You're saying the pattern in electrons is the pattern in photons. That's the same pattern created by the same mechanism. And your proof is, I'm just going to keep showing pictures of electrons. And it's not, again, even a picture of electrons. It's a fucking simulation. And here you're going to argue that this is the evidence. How easy it is to understand our propaganda. Can't you see our propaganda? Can't you see our lies? Can't you see our deception? Can't you see it? I mean, he's so fucking dishonest, this fucking cunt. This fucking troll. And he gets away with it. All right. Easy to understand concept presented in a way a first grader could grasp it. Well, that's all you people do is keep saying they're all stupid. We're going to fool them with our lies. We're just going to pretend we did experiments we didn't goddamn do. And we'll cite them as an excuse for a whole wacky theory of bullshit. A fucking religion. Again, look at his icon. You know, swirly little magic universe bullshit. He's a fucking religious kook. Who needs data? Oh, yeah, exactly. Who needs the truth? Who needs facts, experiments? What experiment is there in this video? It's dishonest to the word too slit. It's not even an accurate image and it has nothing to do with photons. So what the fuck is this experiment of? Oh, that's right. It's another piece of lie and deception. And <clears throat> and real through what? And reality through when you have a great Twan theory to explain. So, again, I say there's a difference between force bits and matter bits. They're just going to keep playing this little twanny thing because they're little gay, whatever, uh, you know, stick their dick in each other's anuses and, and, and wish to play with baby talk rhetoric because that's all they have. Let's understand. If they had an argument, they'd present it here, right? But all they can do is mock the way it sounds. That's the best they can do. So I can call Einstein, Einstein, Ein. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I can, you know, I could just make fun of Einstein's name. Therefore, I win. I mean, it's just so fucking immature. And they talk about first graders. You're behaving like a fucking first grader. Your argument has the integrity of a maliciously, psychotically stupid first grader. A fucking retarded fucking first grader could do better than this. Um, some universe that definitely is not this one. So again, he, he has proof that oh, his wacky universe of fucking photons that are, you know, entangled and they're twins and they have loved each other forever and they know exactly what's happening to each other. And you know, all this wooey bullshit of his multi-dimensions and his bendable and warpable time. He's just so glued to that fucking goddamn bullshit story of his fucking Jesus and his holy ghost. You know, sitting there next to his little lovely God. It's a fucking religion. And they're behaving like religious fanatics who are desperate. Oh, I don't believe in no... I'm not related to no minkies. I mean, it's the same kind of putrid argumentation. All right, anyway. The infinite Gary verse of unlimited delusion. Yes, right. And, and what's going to be, again, what's going to be your penance when I shove that shit so far up your ass? Oh, you're just such a petty motherfucking piece of crap. And every single one of you who endorses this shit is just as in petty. You're just as big a fucking loser. And you're saying, you're writing it right across your fucking chest saying, I'm a fucking loser who can't make a real fucking argument. Because this isn't anywhere near the goddamn subject. It's just fucking propaganda. It's a disgusting fucking lie about what the subject is. I mean, you should be fucking, if I, if I, you know. If I was world dictator, this shit wouldn't go on. That's right, because this is beneath human decency. This is not fucking decent behavior. It's disgusting, putrid, crappy, shitty lying. And that's all it fucking goddamn is, you fucking piece of scum. Alright. On to the other useless idiots. Rotate your owl. Okay, I don't know what owl there is behind me, but I really don't give a fuck. There's probably one somewhere, but I just don't care. Fuck you. I don't see one. Uh, Douchebag holiday. Well done. Sorry, not around to building my own yet. Been busy with police matters. Yeah, well, whatever. 
Fuck you also. I mean, just fuck you for not having the integrity to stand up and say, Jesus fucking Christ, you people, you really aren't on the subject. He did kind of point out it's all about this photon thing. He actually said in the video, look at the electron pattern. It's nothing like the photon pattern. Why is there a difference? He said those fucking things, and you lame asses can't, what, you didn't hear him say it? No, he doesn't have the integrity to step up and say, I distance myself from that garbage. You know, because he's just as big a propagandizing, lying, fucking, stupid, ignorant douche who can't make a real argument. I don't know what good this stuff with time codes, my feelings exactly. Well, I guess I'm not going to know what your feelings are exactly because I'm not going to replay my own fucking video to get what your fucking point is. So I don't even know if that's worth it. So fuck it. Uh, <clears throat> so, ever since 1919, no one has done an experiment to show that light bends by gravity. What experiment are they supposed to do, douchebag? It's a little bit complicated. Light is the fastest thing in the universe, 3 million meters per second, all that kind of bullshit. You have to have a whole bunch of gravity shoot the light next to. We can't really do the experiment in a lab somewhere. You can't really just sit there and say, well, I'll just put a satellite in the air and I'll just shoot some light around and see if I can make the experiment. You can't really do it that simply. So, you know, it's not that easy an experiment. But in some sense, okay, it is sort of easy because we know there's hugely gravitational things in the universe. We see them moving clouds of crap and all kinds of shit. And so those objects should be win for us in the sense we should say, well, if there was lensing, those heavy things really should be lensing the fuck of the entire universe around them. So we should see that. And we don't see that. So in a sense, there's a ton of experiments that have been done that demonstrate that there is no lensing. Because there are places where we know there's a ton of gravity, like the center of a galaxy. We know there's a lot of shit in the center of a galaxy. It's not as heavy as like a sun compared to the solar system. Nothing like that. But there's a lot of crap. And then there's an empty space usually between the shit in the middle and the little arms swinging around the galaxy. So we sort of know that that space in between those two places probably has a lot of gravity in it. Probably. But the other the side note to that is even the fact is, is that those arms are probably destroying some of that gravity. But the place we know we could probably do it is on a gra on, on a on a on a galaxy that's faced this way, okay? Every galaxy we see in the universe that's facing this way, well, the center part of that pancake on its edge should have a lot of gravity. So if there's lensing is possible, that's the place there should be a fuck nut lot of it. And there's not a single image, not one fucking single, not one fucking single image of the most powerful gravity we could probably um, see empty space next to lensing anything. Every fucking lensing image, and there's not one single one of them created by a, a galaxy on its side, which is the strongest gravity. You can get closest to the biggest, heaviest gravity. And it doesn't exist, so there's a ton of experiments pointing out how there is no fucking lensing. <clears throat> but yes, the Eddington experiment was... I, well, I've already pointed this, so you have to be redundant because these assholes keep bringing it up. You don't know shit about it, do you, Homo sapiens? Do you know shit about the actual experiment and how difficult it is? This little tiny bit of movement that you can barely measure, and you're doing it with an optical telescope on the fucking Earth, looking through a fucking rainy atmosphere. I mean, the odds against it is huge. And the only reason why it was even thought of as a theoretical possibility is you first have to believe Einstein was right that there's some idiotic notion that fucking photons because they're moving the speed of light are time dilated and therefore happen to be in the gravity twice as long so without his theoretical bullshit you can't even start the experiment because there's no fucking possibility yeah, and it hasn't been duplicated, shithead. It hasn't been successfully duplicated. Every fucking time they try to do it with an eclipse, okay, something fails. Their technology, this, that, or the other thing, but they never get past a margin of error, for fuck's sake. And that's the fucking truth. They don't really get any kind of dramatic proof. All right. There are recent photos of galaxies with halos of light around them. Well, there really aren't, whatever you just said. <laughs> but anyway... Um, which suggests that light is being bent by gravitational effects of the galaxy in front of the light source. Well, again, it doesn't suggest that because the galaxy doesn't have nearly enough gravity to pr produce the halo where the halo exists. So the place where the gravity is supposed to be heavy, which is way out here, the galaxy's way in here. 
By the inverse square law, there's no fucking goddamn hope that there's a fucking gravitational lensing out there. It's mathematically fucking impossible for it to be out there, and yet they sit there because it looks like it. It must be it. Well, it can't be it. And so then they invent fucking dark matter to make the fucking thing somehow make sense. Well, we'll just invent invisible gravity where the thing is. Why not? We're allowed to make invisible men, right? Isn't in, isn't the invisible man excuse perfectly acceptable in court? Can't I go into a courtroom and just argue the invisible fucking man did it? All right, homo sapiens. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, here, no, this is, uh, okay, so, so yeah, so homo sapiens going to uh, say, yes, I, yeah, yeah, I thought so. I thought there was a ton of evidence. Kind of weird seeing a man denies that so it will fit his theory. What am I denying? I'm not denying the images, jackass. I'm what I'm pointing out that you shitheads don't give a fuck about. You keep screaming about how mathematics is the truth of the universe. Mathematics is the truth. Mathematics is a fact. Your math doesn't fucking work. Show me the math that makes any of those fucking things make sense. Without dark matter, without the invisible fucking fat man to make fake gravity, it doesn't fucking goddamn work, you stupid lame cunt. You fucking arrogant douche. How dare you sit there and say, I'm denying something. You're the fucking one denying that math should be equally applied. That, oh no, you only use the math when it works. When it doesn't work, you ignore math, because math is complete bullshit. You're such fucking duplicitous, dishonest fucking hypocrites. Oh, it is possible there are other explanations. So that's Herb, Herbie Guitar. All right, so now we get the truth from some liar. I find truth. Step one, get off the social media. This isn't social media, jackass, unless you make it social media, fuckhead and fuck nut. So when Professor Lewin puts his videos on fucking YouTube, he's putting them on social media for the part, for the point of being social. That's what he's fucking doing here. All right, he's having a social conversation, you motherfucking duplicitous lying sack of shit cunt. Again, another one of these stupid, idiotic, fake arguments. Ugh, why don't you fucking put your face online so everybody can just get a good fucking laugh. Uh, he's made previous video on this. You could search for this. One of his arguments, I think. So this guy's actually arguing on my side with this idiotic jackass title. If you're going to have a jackass title, don't fucking comment on my videos, okay? If you got some kind of N-word shit in your title or so this is fucking rubbishy fucking cliches in the goddamn title of your fucking comment, fuck you, fuck off. All right, one of his arguments, I think, is <clears throat> that certain stars would disappear because of light that originally came to you would be bent to a different spot. Yes, well, that's the consequence of lensing. That's right. Something that looks like it should be here looks like it's over there. And so, yes, the very thing that makes other stuff visible can make other stuff invisible. That's the rules of lensing. And yet we don't see any of that. We don't see stars disappear because they get lensed out of existence. Um, the other is that he says it doesn't make sense <coughs> for the foreground, foreground middle galaxies to be facing us in the image because not enough gravity would be accumulated if the galaxy oriented perpendicular to the light rays. He says that the galaxy's plane is parallel to the light ray. It'd be bent more. Yes, I'm just saying the logically, logically, you can understand that if the, the most of the mass is in here, and you got a pancake, and most of the mass is in here, and you're gravitationally lensing out here, you're further away from the fucking mass. And if you do it this way, you're a lot fucking closer to the mass, and there's less light in your way. You do it this way with the pancake this way, there's all kinds of noise inside of that galaxy from the arms and everything. You do it this way, there's a lot less noise out here and over here. So yeah, you maximize the potential of the gravity this way rather than this way when it comes to lensing around a galaxy. It's just fucking rational logic, you motherfucking cunts. It really can't be disputed by a real argument. That's, it's fucking goddamn provably true what I'm saying here. This is like provably true in every single mechanical circumstance you can imagine. If I have a whirlpool, okay, and you're going to get sucked into it, the odds of you getting sucked into it are a lot higher if you're in here than if you're way the fuck out here. Dumbasses. Lying sacks of shit. He himself <coughs> pr proposes and I am not kidding that there was some 
giant explosion to force spreading of galaxies into rings. Well, yeah, I, oh, what a, what a, you're not kidding to speculate that it's possible that something could explode in the universe. Like we don't know what a supernova is and it's no possibility there could be some explosion where the stuff actually moves and that's why we're seeing it in these weird locations. Like something that was like this turned into something that's pieces in different locations that would duplicate the lensed images and it would uh, coincidentally also explain why they're blue shifted, fuckhead. God, you people are just such ragged pieces of crap. All right, here's at least one relevant video. I doubt it's, re oh, it's my own video. Uh, 2022, he talks about the possibility of being explosion. So, so again, you don't think that's possible. And I'm not kidding. So you say, he himself proposes, and I'm not kidding, that there was some kind of giant explosion. So you think that's some kind of, oh, yeah, that's so preposterous. Something exploded in the universe? That's not possible. There's no evidence of explosions in the universe. Do you believe in, in LIGO? Then you've got to believe that three solar masses got injected into the universe in a millisecond. One millisecond. Three solar masses. All right, Herbie Guitar Guy. This is how science explains observing photons. Excerpts from the one article. Quantum mechanics demonstrated um, observation affects reality. Right, so these are just their conclusions. And yes, they're, they're obviously bullshit, but it even, goes, it even goes more rudimentary than their preposterous you know, observation has something to do with it. Even just the raw experiments aren't, aren't honestly described. Let alone this wacky bullshit that somehow, you know, it has something to do with eyeballs looking at it. There's no evidence that the fucking photons change because you turn your head and don't look at the experiment. That is just such a fucking lie. Interference can only occur when no one is watching. Well, again, see, that's just such crap. They, they can't detect photons anyway. The whole concept, the whole fucking thought experiment is rubbish. There's no detecting photons. They never did the experiment. It never happened. It's just all a fucking lie. The quantum observation capacity to detect electrons could be altered by changing its electrical conductivity or the strength of the current passing through it. And, and again, this is the other part. So yes, when they do the electron experiment, they're saying it's the same as the photon experiment. When logic tells you it can't possibly be the same experiment. Fucking f electrons are the fucking magnetic monopole. They're the most, they're the, they're the most charged thing in the universe, quote unquote. It's fucking idiotic. Oh, I'm going to compare the most the thing carrying the most charge in the universe, the uh, most negative charge, with the thing with no charge at all. And it's the same experiment. I mean, it's fucking insanely insane as a, as a premise. All right. Apart from observing and detecting electron, uh, the detection had no effect on the current. So even, even this whole argument, I mean, again, this is the part where they gave the electrons are now have a frequency because we increase their speed. So if you go 20 miles an hour, you're really going 20 kilohertz. You go 30 miles an hour, you're really going 30 kilohertz. Even though there's no frequency involved whatsoever. It's just complete bullshit. A complete fucking lie. There's no fucking frequency. And they're just pretending it's there. By controlling the properties of the quantum observer, the scientists managed to control the extent of the influence of the electron's behavior. Yes, obviously you make the electrons go faster, they'll be bent less. Just like fucking, if I throw a comet into a solar system, if I give it twice the speed, obviously it might not go crashing into the sun. I mean, it's just fucking obvious. <clears throat> All this is completely revealing. The detector observation is physically affecting the photons, causing them to realign. Why would they ignore this categoric categorically contradictory evidence yes well I don't the way you said this doesn't seem to me I can't you know exactly understand your the exact nature of your point it is all completely revealing the detector observation is physically affecting the photons yes but there is no detector so there's no this isn't even a conversation in the real world they can't make detectors for either photons or electrons how the fuck can you uh, you can't detect an electron without 
fucking it up just as not as much i mean clearly you're going to fuck a photon up a hell of a lot more trying to detect it and because you have to catastrophically interact with a photon you can't just brush up against one and you can't really brush up against a goddamn electron either if you hit it with a photon you change where it goes there's no way to see photons or fucking electrons this is just such a lie this idiotic premise that I, this has something to do with observation it obviously has something to do with catastrophically destroying the the experiment it has to do with a catastrophic interfering with the objects you're observing. I, you know, this is as bad as me taking a giant hammer and I put a rat and a mouse in a fucking experiment. And I say, let's see what the rat and the mouse do. And then I club them to death with a giant hammer. I just smoosh them into just little bloody piles of shit. And I say, this is what rats and mice do when you leave them alone for an hour. No, that's not what they do. That's what dead fucking mice and fucking rats do. That's how dumb this is. This is how fucking goddamn stupid conventional physics is. Is they talk this fucking wooey propaganda. They build this whole fucking religion. on, a, a, And it's premised on some fucking notion that they have the ability to see photons and see electrons without interfering with them. It is so fucking dishonest and it is such a pile of motherfucking steaming shit. All right, Einstein was a retard who died of something a turkey wouldn't die of. Which, again, yeah, he died of an aneurysm, and at the time it wasn't really surgically operable. And you're going to mock that? Boy, you suck. <laughs> a copper deficiency. Uh, aortic ruptured aneurysm. Yes, the, the, the copper deficiency was completely irrelevant. Once you have the aneurysm, you can't fix an aneurysm, asshole. Aneurysms don't go away. You either cut them out or wrap them or something else, but once you have one, you are fucked. And Einstein was fucked, and he knew he was fucked, and that must have sucked, and here you are making fun of it, you motherfucking piece of shit. And then you have this fucking idiotic name, too, Kadamasol. Fuck you. Kadam you to hell, you stupid prick. Make a better argument than that. Einstein was wrong. Okay, but he wasn't an idiot. And mocking his death is beneath petty bullshit. Oh, God, these people are just such scum. All right. Oh, it's a Pamela. I doubt it's a Pamela, though. When we witness great deep thinkers argue their point of view, we are just being blessed by the universe. Oh, I'm sorry. That's just too much bullshit for me. Um, what is your take on that? All right, so this is so Max Nozin. So this is how fucking... I make 600 videos on this channel. People just couldn't give a fucking rat's ass about understanding any part of this. They won't go to the website links. They won't pay any attention. Here we are having a complex discussion about details of the double slit experiment and the single slit experiment. And this motherfucking prick posts a link to some generic bullshit website. Double slit, it's called. And again, it won't even have the real double slit experiment in it. Let, you know, you can see this, right? You, you can see this, right? This isn't going to be the real double slit experiment. It's going to be this childish, infantile description of the experiment with the magical, look, look at how it looks. And even this one has bars, which is ironic. You know, let's, let's go shove that up the ass of, of the Dumbo because it's actually drawn as bars, asshole. <laughs> you know, inaccurately, completely inaccurately not consistent with what the mathematics says it should look like, right? But it's not even the double slit uh, 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 pattern. Again, the, no envelope of the single slit. The, the double slit pattern goes like this. That's what it does. It's a real thing. It really happens. And if that pattern doesn't exist, then you really did the single impediment experiment. If you don't have the envelope, it's because the two outside slits are too wide. And they're not even relevant to the experiment. But you people are too fucking dumb to give a fuck about the details. Facts just don't matter to you. Facts don't matter to these assholes calling this some kind of brilliant light power. This has nothing to do with the truth. This has nothing to do with educating people. It's just fucking propaganda. Propaganda brought to you by the Pope. Brought to you by uh, Catholic science. 
I mean, that's all this is. This is their fucking bullshit woo science. They've made it into a fucking goddamn religion. They're shoving it into everybody's fucking head. You gotta believe, you gotta believe, you gotta believe. And if you don't believe, we're gonna slander and lie about you. Okay? That's all we got as an argument. Slanders and fucking goddamn cunt lies. Why they keep their little popes and their little uh, icons protected from anybody making any kind of argument. As soon as somebody makes an argument, that why don't you prove one of these fucking bullshit theories of yours? Show me a bucket of bent fucking space, douchebag. As soon as they get challenged, yeah, the, you, you, your voice is silenced by these fucking censoring, lying, propagandizing motherfucking cunts. So what do I think of that, you dumb shit? What's my take on it, motherfucker? My take is you're a fucking cunt for posting rubbish like that. Trivial fucking goddamn rubbish that I fucking responded to at least 600 times in the last goddamn five years. Fuck you. Pay attention to goddamn videos. You're going to fucking post a bullshit on somebody's channel, then you have some obligation to know the whole fucking argument, douchebag. <sighs> Herbie's guitar. An interesting phenomenon is the vacuum. Well, it's not really that interesting. Uh, we call it empty space, but what does that really mean? It really doesn't mean a damn thing, right? Because it all the only way you create a vacuum is you have to pull on something, right? You're you're pulling on some stuff, and you know through through the process of creating high pressure in there and low pressure where you are. So it has to essentially be pushed out of where it is. And it can only be pushed if there's other things bothering it. You know what I mean? There has to be some kind of pressure. And so the pressure between two electrons that are this far apart is going to be minute. So there's no way you can really push electrons out of, uh, you know, evacuate them. And you can't even really evacuate a minimum number of atoms because they would just say, I'm not bothered. I'm not under big, any huge pressure. I'm not flying out the door. I'm perfectly comfortable where I am. I mean, so yeah, you really can't create a vacuum. You have to think of it as everything's tied together and you have to pull it because it's tied to something else. And the truth is these things aren't all that tied. Once you make them very thin, they don't have any relationship to each other anymore. All right, empty refers to nothing but space it is nothing and not nothing. Empty refers to nothing but space is not nothing. It has to be something or it would not exist. Why does space have to be something? That's just idiotic. It's a <clears throat> bubble in the middle of nothing. Oh, fuck that. The force required to maintain it is enormous, but in comparison to the size, it presents no problem. Again, there's no force required to maintain it if it wasn't for all the external pressure, the heat and the little stuff, the ton of stuff outside of it. So again, that's just bullshit. Galaxies are enormous, but spin extremely slow to our perspective. And again, I don't think their spin has shit to do with anything. Uh, once we realize this, we can find the energy required. Well, you're not going to find any new energy, idiot. Uh, to balance this something. Uh, so he has his own wacky theories. The speed of light, or C, so we can deduce that a vacuum requires a lot of energy so, to sustain it. So, so again, he thinks... <sighs> He thinks the vacuum is is um, a deprivation. I don't even know how to call that. The energy is the the aspect of of preventing the external pressure from getting in. There's no energy involved in in the the space you're evacuating. But anyway. To reconcile this with an expanding universe, we have to change the shape of it. So again, I have to accept the expanding universe crap, which is based on one thing, redshift. And if they have their theory of redshift is incorrect, then the whole expansion is over. But whatever, I'll accept expansion just because it seems reasonable that stuff is moving away from each other, but who cares? Uh, the only object able to self-sustain is a torus. Oh, he's a fucking goddamn Ken Wheeler nut. This does not mean we have to view the universe as torus shape. Well, then why'd you bring it up? We can presume the universe to be a torus shape in reference to time. Yeah, well, why wouldn't a galaxy be a torus shape? Why wouldn't this, if this torus was somehow relevant, why wouldn't it be around? People think this spin thing, like you spin two things and you spin them the same way and they, they'll attract in a fluid. Well, they end up attracting, not for any reason, like there's some force pulling them together. It's that they're the, the complementary... Um, 
um, spin, okay, just means that they're changing the pressure, right? They're both pushing things in the same direction and they're both pulling them from this way in. So they have to move together. But the force is so weak. So, you, you know, it's nothing like magnetism. Magnetism is an incredibly strong force. It can't be created by any swirly bullshit. And if it was, we'd be able to detect the huge amounts of pressure that are all around the thing. So when you have something swirling through a medium, there's huge pressure differences, not in between the two things, but uh, over here and down here, and in between them down here, be huge amounts of pressure changes. We'd be able to detect some of those, and we can't find any of them. This whole bullshit, this is just another pile of religious crap. Let's see. Um, uh, let's see. The apex is on the far side of the torus and we don't see it for many billions of years. Oh, what a pile of crap. It will never completely recollapse or fly apart. Anyway, look, I've said this a million times before and I'm going to say it again. I this channel doesn't the purpose of this channel is not to vent or or argue your fucking wacky theories, okay? I'm defending one theory, my theory. You can call it wacky if you like, but that's what I'm in the game to do. And the only obstacle to my theory getting to the position it should be in is that they have a conventional religion. Defeating your wacky religion is completely irrelevant to me. I have no fucking interest in finding every loop de doo tree believing God person. You know, every, every nut who thinks Sasquatch is God. I don't have any obligation to waste my time correcting them. All right. Um, the obstacle is the loop de doo religion that's in place, and that's the one I'm going to argue. I'm not going to argue every nutter in the fucking universe. Fuck you. Shove your toyroid up your ass. Move along, fuckhead. I mean, you either make arguments against conventional physics or you make arguments against my theory, but I'm not doing your theory here. Fuck you. <sighs> All right, the big question I've tried to answer is, what is the reality of the manifestation of so-called physical particles or waves, and what is the foundation of reality in any theory that incorporates them? Well, I don't think it's all that fucking wooey impressive, okay? The fact is, there is a universe. Uh, you know, we can drop it down to something like little force bits, little bits moving the speed of light, and bigger bits that don't move any speed until something forces them to move. I don't think that's all that fucking hard to comprehend. I don't think it demands us to be all, oh, I have to get into my religious mumbo jumbo to imagine that the universe has matter in it. No, I don't need any of that. <clears throat> Not what are they, but why are they? No, no, the why they are is just so fucking stupid. Okay, you're really not doing physics. Physics is figuring out what they do, not why they do it or where they came from. It's what they do, being able to describe how they work, period. You don't need to know their origin to do that. And I'm not interested in origin conversations because I think they're fucking as futile as possible. You can't get a more futilely stupid thing to do than sit there and pick up a fucking grain of sand from the fucking beach and say, I'm going to figure out where this sand came from. It's retarded and stupid. If we know why they are, uh, we can know what they are. Well, I'm not even reading any more of this crap. Fuck you. All right. <clears throat> Let's see, Mark Hammer. You're wasting your time arguing about quantas of a man that lives in a basement surrounded by gear purchased with no portfolio substance. Well, I don't, I don't even think whether he has a portfolio or not doesn't really matter. I mean, <laughs> I, again, these are the wrong reasons to be suspect of Ken Wheeler. I'd be suspect of him because he's a disgusting coward that he seems to only be capable of beating up dead people. And, um, uh, yeah, and he talks in an insane language that makes absolutely no sense and then does it in such an arrogant manner where he says something like, you know, water is, you know, hydroxide, when it's exactly the opposite. It's oxygen hydroxide. <sighs> Idiot. Anyway. If you take two spherical objects and place them in water, oh, here we go, and then spin them rapidly opposing each other, they will repel each other. Yeah, it's exactly, so what? It doesn't happen. You, if, you, if you think there's a medium and it's swirling, we could detect the medium. We can detect the force lines. We can detect magnet, you know, we can detect 
magnetism with a magnet for fuck's sake. If there was all these pressure changes swirling around magnets, we'd be able to detect them. Why can't we detect them? It's just idiotic to say. And then number two, my argument would be, even if there was a fucking goddamn ether and you were able to swirl the fuck out of it, um, it wouldn't be enough of a force. It's not nearly as strong as the magnetic force. Not even close. It types a whole bunch of this shit. Uh, I'll leave that one there. Just because it's, it's, it might be uh, useful to somebody, but I don't know. I don't see how that shit could be useful to anybody. The bending of light around distant galaxies. What would be this cause? Well, again, it doesn't happen. So I don't even know. What, you make arguments in the other comment where you, you seem to get it. You didn't get it when you made this comment. Fuck. Why would an object Why would an object slow its rotation rather rapidly? And also its orbit, if push was the cause of gravity. I don't. I don't. Somebody's supposed to understand what that that is. The the fucking thing to explain is the inverse square law, jackass. That's the only obligation. Einstein has a wacky theory that space is bent. I have a sensible theory that the pressure is created from an external force, and it explain it perfectly would explain the inverse square law. And it perfectly obeys the inverse square law. So there's nothing I have to explain to you. There's no phenomenon observed in the solar system that that. that breaks the inverse square law. The inverse square law is the only law I have to pay attention to, shithead. Explain to me if there's some other law. Explain to me you ha where you have evidence of fucking something in the universe doing whatever you're talking about, rotating rather rapidly, and pu how, how push doesn't explain it. It doesn't matter what its, what its rotational speed is. There's no ether, jackass. The leading edge of the spinning object is traveling faster than the trailing edge and therefore receives more energy. Again, it's just nonsense, okay? It's conservational. It doesn't make any difference. I don't believe in an ether. You're totally irrelevant. Fuck you. All right, you commented on my mail sent to your old account. Why? Yeah, because it's idiotic. You seem to be delusional. You seem to think I'm Miles Mathis. How many fucking times do I have to tell you fucking idiotic losers, I'm not Miles Mathis, dumbass. It should be fucking obvious that if fucking Miles Mathis talked like me, he would probably write like me. Have you seen an article where Miles Mathis says, Will you motherfucking dumb cunts quit bothering me with your inane bullshit? Have you seen him say that somewhere, fuckhead? No. Did, have you seen me do one video with some bizarre fucking idiotic conspiracy theory? You know, that Marsha Clark is from Xenon in another galaxy and blah, 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 blah. Have you seen me write anything like that or talk about any of that shit? He's a fucking lunatic. Have you seen me walking around here going, who's a Jew and, you know, everybody's a Jew and we can't stand the Jews? Have you seen me do any of that fucking idiotic crap, jackass? No, I haven't. So fuck you and this bullshit. You're so fucking stupid. You can't even figure out if Miles Mathis, the guy who puts MilesMathis.com and puts Miles Mathis here and puts his name every fucking where. Where's his name on this fucking channel, you dumbass? You think if I was Miles Mathis, I wouldn't be calling this the Miles Mathis special super crazy magnificent channel? You don't think that would be the title, you dumbass? Anyway. Because that's the address that was posted. There's no fucking address posted anywhere, you dumb fuck. So obviously he still thinks I'm Miles Mathis. I say right to his face, I'm not Miles Mathis. And he still thinks I'm Miles Mathis. I didn't see the email change until after the mail was sent. What email change? I haven't changed my email, jackass. I've had the same email addresses for fucking ten years, dumb fuck. I was hoping you still have access to your old account, but the mail was returned to me two days later. For the fuck cares? Fucking lunatic. Right. Probably enough. Oh, I think there was something else I was supposed to read. Oh, yeah. Another idiot comment. Oh, yeah. That's right. I saved it here. Yeah, there it is. All right. So, uh, this was some, some you know, the scum who sit there and they, they post this shit three or four times. They, they're, just, they're just so obnoxious. On the same video, on different, you know, just post the same bullshit on different videos. Uh, go ahead and block me. That's his new, you know, his, his spam name. Good job insulting your own fucking subscribers there at the end, you fucking prick. Yeah, I insulted my subscribers on my Inmendum channel by pointing out that you assholes who don't think this physics thing is important are too stupid to understand. 
how important it really is that it's this big fake you're all eating a fake pie you're all eating crap and, and you don't even know it because you're too fucking stupid. Yeah, and I'll keep saying that to people. If you don't think physics is important and you don't think the fucking bullshit they're feeding people now is ludicrous religious kookery, then yeah, you're really fucking dumb because it looks like a religion, it quacks like a religion, it lies like a religion, it propagandizes like a religion, it closes conversation like a religion, it acts very much like a fucking religion. Uh, you know, the subscribers that you, <coughs> your hermit ass would have been an absolute nobody without. I don't need anybody to make me a somebody, fucker. I was somebody 20 years ago when I was just sending out newsletters and nobody was reading them. I'm always going to be a somebody. You're the fuck that's always going to be a nobody. A nobody good. A no account. A no accountable. You're going to be a no accountable, your whole fucking weaselly, little backstabby, little throw mud from behind rocks, cowardice life. You're a little fucking weaselly coward. You don't have the fucking decency of a real man with real fucking balls to stand up and make a real argument, you fucking coward. All right. Take YouTube away from you and you're nothing. And again, I was something long. I was something from the day I arrived on this fucking planet. You're the nothing, fucker. And you'll always be nothing because all that's running through your head is pettiness, connivory. Uh, uh, you know, you're just a cheater and a thief. You don't have anything called a one ounce of fucking goddamn stiff dick integrity. All right. And by the way, you're nothing. And by the way, let me deflate your massive ego a little bit. Nobody gives a shit about your physics shit because. It's literally shit. Well, you can keep saying that shit, but again, I am completely confident, and you're not. How, how are you in some way denting my confidence? I'm, I'm just bubbled over in complete confidence that, yeah, okay, I don't need you to say I'm right. I know I'm right. My opinion's always been more important than your opinion, dumbass. Okay, I'm the one looking in the mirror saying, good job, Gary, you're doing the best you can. Nice, nice moves. You're playing a fair game. You're not cheating. You're not lying like these scum. No, I feel real good about who I am, scumbag. All right. Uh, it's literally shit, a waste of time. Again, by anonymous coward standards. Because you are you can know the difference. You're such a brilliant physicist. You've done so many hours of work on the subject. You demonstrate no hours of work. You demonstrate no knowledge of the subject. You're just defending your Pope. <sighs> like all the other child molesters. Um, you are in... Uh, you are in equivalent of... A climate change denier. Oh, and I'm a flat earth lunatic, so it's all the same thing. Everything is the same thing. Anything that's an attack on, 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 on our Christianity is all by the same Satan demons. Nobody could make a rational argument about evolution or something. No, they're all just Satan, and they're all trying to hurt us. Ugh. Yeah, pussy argument, irrational mush, baby fucking talking. You're making baby arguments. Uh, you are a kook with a god complex, simple as that. And you've proved it with absolutely not one shred of any kind of thing called evidence. Brilliant. You suck. A high school dropout. I didn't drop out, but I would just as soon have. Uh, who probably has never uh, solved the most basic calculus equations. Well, what I did do, though, was I was always a very innovative person. And I actually was instrumental in creating some mm, pretty good... Uh, uh, you know, 1980 version robots, motherfucker. Um, who thinks he knows better than the entire world community of physics? Well, frankly, I don't think they know shit because all they do is talk shit. <laughs> okay, they don't do shit. Um, they they just create a a a, a, f a facade of a system. You know, and that's all it is. It's this little silly, like their whole fucking standard model is the most convoluted, silly pile of shit. Because somebody says, well, look, though, red, green, and blue equals purpley pinkish. And so we'll call it the purpley pinkish particle. I, I mean, it's just, it's it's so fucking goddamn idiotic in how they base it on just their their w imagination. 
Well, there's three quirks. Well, what, what if we there? Well, that's this kind of pattern, and if we put two more in, we could make a, a hexy tree drawn, and maybe that would be even more. You know, it's just putting it together. It's just just imagination. It doesn't have anything to do with facts because they don't have any of those. All right, laughable stick to your lane, jackass. Yeah, well, get what you deserve, okay? I hope you get exactly what you deserve. I hope people treat you exactly as you deserve to be treated, and I hope nature does what it should do to you, which is squish you like the scummy little parasitic tick you are. You're a fucking disgusting, lying, propagandizing motherfucking piece of trash, and I hope you get exactly, you get dumped in the garbage exactly the way you should, you motherfucker. I can only hope. I wish I could make it happen. I wish. I wish there was dueling laws in this country. I wish I could put I wish I could do to you what you deserve to have done to you, you piece of dirty scum. You fucking gutless fucking pussy. You talk this shit without putting your goddamn name or face on it, you motherfucking weaselly piece of shit. That's enough of a video. I mean, you block these people. You say, look, leave me the fuck alone. Then I won't have to bother with you, okay? I'll just do my thing. You can do, do your thing in the universe, whatever that is. Go kick old ladies or whatever the fuck makes you happy. Go fuck a dog. Go lick a dog's vagina or something. Whatever makes you fucking happy, you fucking perverted sicko. But I clearly say, fuck off. I have no interest in conversation with you. And then you force me to waste my motherfucking time. And the real person making me fucking waste my time are douchebags like Holiday who don't have the integrity to say, that's a bullshit argument. That's a bullshit argument. These assholes shouldn't be wasting our goddamn conversation with this crap, this actual scummy crap. They shouldn't fucking goddamn be... Um, fouling this conversation because yes I'm gonna take it out on other people the fucking fucking because I blame them for letting these assholes fucking exist in our fucking civilization these fucking lying sacks of anonymous shit shouldn't even be allowed to exist now I'm done. probably yeah no no picture is necessary. <sighs> okay. On to an economics video. That ought to be fun now. <laughs> Jeez. God, I hate people. I just motherfucking hate these. Fucking human race is such a pile of scum.